New at 6 o'clock, more money could be coming to your family's bank account. The newly released report is now suggesting the state could utilize a $5 billion surplus to give to your family, which is another big tax refund. Or another option, hiring thousands of new teachers to better serve Georgia students. Doug Richards is live in DeKalb County looking into all the options, which Doug, I'm sure, has a lot of controversy, a lot of opinions surrounding it. Sounds like this is a result of a surging economy. Is that right? And probably a lot more options than I'm going to tell you about. But one of those options is uh, that this $5 billion surplus could hire 10 new school teachers at this DeKalb County School and every other school in the state, according to an analysis done by an investigative site called State Affairs. Despite its riches, Georgia has problems. There's a backlog of expensive state-funded construction projects. State prisons are understaffed. Schools are always looking for teachers. Five billion dollars of surplus could effectively attack some of those problems. It's kind of like if your boss, if you make $60,000 a year and your boss said, well, you're actually going to make $70,000 this year, um, what you would do with that, you know, extra chunk of cash. So Bo Evans with State Affairs crunched some numbers. The politically popular choice would be to refund taxpayers, which would be worth $1,250 to individual taxpayers, $2,500 to couples filing joint returns. Returning your taxes that you paid, I don't think a lot of people are going to complain about that. But if the state spends it, the state could replace 200 worn out bridges that are over 50 years old and are past their shelf life. It could hire 22,000 new teachers, about 10 per school statewide. The surplus could give $6,000 pay bonuses to public school staff, from teachers to school bus drivers, in addition to bonuses they've already gotten. It could hire 25,000 government workers in short-staffed agencies serving health care and prisons, which have been starved of state funding over the last decade, Governor says and budget and analyst General Danny Canzo. Uh, now that those excuses, uh, you know, that, that we don't have enough funding, uh, really appear to no longer be true, that, that we can finally start to address some of these longstanding issues that really we punted forward. So what will the state do, you ask? Well, the answer will undoubtedly come during next year's legislative session and after this year's elections, during which it should be noted uh, that both major candidates for governor have said uh, they really like the idea of uh, refunding tax money to Georgia taxpayers. Live in DeKalb County, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News.